So in this video, I'm going to get all the users which are connected to a server. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we're going to have a for loop inside this. Now, you can debate that uh, we need to use a database over here, but since we don't have a database, uh, we are doing things differently. Um, as you can see, we authenticated uh, this uh, very simple uh, authentication. And by using a handshake of socket itself, if you have some sort of different authentication, you can use it over here uh, as a middleware function. Uh, but since we don't have a database, uh, we're gonna do things a simple way. I'm gonna say constant users, and now I'm gonna put a for off loop, and I want a constant. Let's say let. And I want an ID and object of socket from IO dot off, excuse me, IO dot off. Backslash dot sockets. Now uh, this is gonna cons uh, have, this uh, consists of all the arrays of our sockets our uh, users basically so so this thing is a users dot push and i'm gonna push inside the user ids of our connected uh, users and uh, the user names the socket dot username there we go and then i'm going to push this I'm going to call this event call this event before our session so it's just gonna call all our users this socket dot emit say users and pass in the users array. So let's go to our uh, main.js inside this let's call the um, users event connect with users so this is gonna have an arrow function inside and the users array now we need to show um, on the front end of how many users uh, have connected and plus that uh, we have joined in as well. So to do that, we are going to create a new constant and the function name this messages, set messages. This is going to be an empty array. Inside this, I'm going to do create console.log users. Then let's see how this looks. I'm going to have two users joining in. So you guys can see the log joining as this. Joining as this. So if I see console, I should have two users. Yep. Are they 10 sufficient? 